Pepe the crypto is looking super long-term bullish right now in the cryptocurrency market and we also have some massive bullish breaking news to talk about that is impacting not only just Pepe but also the overall crypto market because you guys are seeing most of the cryptos are up in a sea of green today so I'll be explaining to you guys what's happening with the Pepe price today why is it slightly retraced but long-term I'm staying bullish plus some other critical news you should be aware of in the cryptocurrency market so if that sounds good to you guys subscribe hit the notification notification bell and also as a reminder if you're someone who likes to trade cryptos it could be pepe it could be ethereum it could be bitcoin it could be anything really and uh, you want to farm some crypto bonuses make sure to go check out fairdesk so we have lots of these really good uh, exchange bonus deals at the moment fairdesk is probably one of the best ones out there and uh, so if you're a trader in the crypto market you can deposit a different amount of money right up the top here and uh, depending on your trading volume you can actually unlock some very very nice uh, futures bonuses right there and that's an exclusive exclusive reward if you're a subscriber of this channel so link is in the description of this video if you want to check it out very very exciting bonuses happening over on Fedex. so make sure to make the most of it while they're available and guys having said that let's talk about the pepe price right now so long term we are looking very very nice indeed so we are consolidating to the upside okay so i've got a long-term price graph right here for pepe and uh, even though in the last 24 hours it has slightly cooled down the reason it has slightly cooled down is because some traders again they're going to be taking some short-term moves on pepe to do some short-term gains and uh, they're probably just locking away some short-term profits but you have to also think in the crypto market you can also trade long in the crypto market so what does that mean long-term hold and i think we're looking very good for Pepe over the long term because what also has happened to the crypto market in the last 24 hours is if you actually check in on the Bitcoin price which is important to understand we've actually got a nice big green candle right here you guys can see that happen in the crypto market so why has the Bitcoin price went upwards from around you know the $61,000 to around $66,000 at the time of making this and the reason is guys it's because we had a nice macro signal from the US economy so if you actually check the CNBC news today, you can see right here, S&P 500 jumps 1% to post record close ending session above 5,300 for the first time ever. And the other thing that happened is the important metric, it's the CPI data. So, you know, based on the official books coming out of the US government, they are saying that uh, consumer prices have risen less than expectations. So the crypto market, the stock market, they're all celebrating this basically. So you're gonna see the stock market go up and what the expectations are is out there from a macro point of view is they're thinking it's gonna be a bit of a less impact. So, you know, potentially rate cuts in in the future quicker than anticipated that is the economic narrative at the moment so that is actually flowing into the crypto market in the term in the form of bitcoin today and if you actually have a look right here you can see most of the cryptos are actually up in the green pepe retracing but we have had phenomenal gains so again you look at the monthly gains for pepe and this is why you should have a long-term uh, window in crypto pepe up 103 percent for the month for the week you know we're up 28 percent and uh, for the year Pepe is up 500% in addition to some other cryptos out there as well. So Pepe again, performing phenomenally over the long term and if we actually do analyze the you know the price of pepe there is still plenty of room to grow so some people are saying is it too late to get into pepe uh i think the answer to that question really comes down to you know your long-term view on this crypto so are you someone who is long term you know going to stick it out in the crypto market you know be around when the bitcoin price hits a hundred thousand dollars that's a question you have to ask yourself because i am i do diversify into pepe so i'm holding some pepe and i still think there is a very good chance we could hit you know those big market cap numbers for pepe so again you have a look right here you look at the market caps of these different types of cryptos you got bitcoin 1.3 trillion and bitcoin's the king of the crypto market there is so much decentralized belief into bitcoin as an alternative you know store of value around the world and that's not just the usa it's a global phenomena everyone out there is very uh, long-term bullish on bitcoin that i know anyway uh, investors i know and i think it's only going to get stronger so you know bitcoin i would see one day potentially a hundred thousand dollars but you have to really you know benchmark pepe in with the meme coin so it is a meme coin and if you do have a look at some of these meme coins again there's a plenty of room for pepe to grow so again you know if you're to catch up to the market cap of shid shib that's an extra 10 billion uh for pepe so that's going to push it up to potentially a 4x right there if it's to catch the market cap of doge you're looking at a 5x so another 500 percent but having said that you know it can still even go higher than 20 2 billion so doge 
is the price ceiling for meme coins in the crypto market at the moment you know it's made a phenomenal run it's had a phenomenal run but you have to also remember if you are an og you know subscriber of this channel and uh, you have been in the crypto market for a long period of time you would know also doge has been a crypto if you have a look at the past here you know it did actually spike up to 80 billion in one bull run right there so it got up to here for a couple of days and that's absolutely crazy so this is the stuff this is the area where you know people make absolutely millions of dollars in meme coins so again very very exciting and you can see right here one whale in particular turned 5 million into 44 million in six months and that's a mega whale though so if you're putting 5 million as an initial investment into meme coins generally speaking you've got a lot of money to uh, spend uh, into your investments i would think anyway but that's potentially what's on the horizon uh for these types of meme coins so i think you know as a price target bullish price target for pepe could be 50 billion dollars but again it could go higher than that as well and you have to remember it's a high reward high risk market having said that though also if you do enjoy you know low cap cryptos that's where you can get the crazy crazy multiples so you always got to be thinking about your multiples in crypto so i still think pepe has a lot of room to go and the other thing to watch out for for pepe you know if you compare it to doge and shib as a meme coin one thing that really stands out about this crypto is it doesn't actually have a Coinbase listing in the United States. So in the USA, you know, Coinbase is a very big crypto exchange. You have a lot of people who only trade on Coinbase. So again, they're a little bit late to the crypto market. Uh, if you want to get in on the big gains, generally speaking, you have to get into crypto projects like super early where you can before they go into centralized exchanges. Of course, you're going to take on a ton more risk, but it's just, you know, part of the risk and reward, reward ratio in crypto. But you can see right here, SHIB's got a Coinbase listing same thing with doge and i do think you know this is definitely an area where coinbase will most likely list pepe in the future coming up and uh i just think it would be totally foolish if they didn't so at the moment they're going down the futures path and uh we do know uh if you just check out the volume numbers for pepe just have a look it actually exceeds uh, every single other meme coin in the crypto market right now so coinbase is actually and i don't want to be too tough on brian armstrong the ceo of coinbase but he's costing shareholders money he's not doing the best job uh he should be doing so this guy you know this guy right here even though he's worth millions of dollars he definitely is doing a disservice to both his customers and also to investors in coinbase coinbase is a public company the number one thing he should be looking to do is make money for his shareholders and he's not doing that by not listing pepe right here so you have a look 1.8 billion dollars in volume and that's only going to increase if it goes onto coinbase so again brian armstrong if you guys hold uh, stock in coinbase you should go to the next meeting and uh, tell him tell him to list pepe and do shareholders justice for coinbase shares uh, some of these guys i don't know what they're thinking but uh it's the right move to do so again you know people invest into the stock market to make money he's going to make a lot more money listing pepe on his crypto exchange and that's another bullish factor he should be doing so this is another one to just you know consider in the long run as well and i do think you know if people are active and actually you know shilling this guy and getting in his comment section and telling him to list pepe uh, I reckon he would actually take notice. So people do take notice of comments. Even if he thinks he's a big public figure in his ivory tower, I do think if enough people tweet at Brian Armstrong, he will list Pepe and that's gonna be very good for the Pepe crypto price. And I'm gonna take my own advice right here. So I'm actually gonna drop a tweet on this uh, video right now. So let's just tweet at this guy. And this is what you can do in crypto. So if you wanna get ahead in crypto, you should be pushing your own cryptos and uh, letting the world know you're bullish about it. So let's tweet at Brian, Ar Brian Armstrong. And uh, if you guys follow me over on X, make sure to like and retweet tweet it if you hold pepe so you know we're in this together we're going to push these cryptos where we can so make sure to uh, like and retweet this if you are over an x so i've written this tweet and it says drop a like and retweet if you think brian armstrong should do the right thing and list pepe on coinbase it's been far too long now so let's post that guys and uh like and retweet it if you agree and i do think if there is a coinbase listing on pepe uh i reckon that's going to be super bullish for this crypto so again you get more demand for the crypto and uh you know the volume is going to even get bigger and it could potentially push pepe up as a you know this could push it into top 20 top 15 area of crypto i would think potentially so top 15 you know you're up there with the best of them so you're looking at you know potentially a 10 billion dollar market cap uh that's what i'd be you know wanting to see for pepe and then you know it's only about 5 billion or so to take on shib which is another monster meme coin in the crypto market so plenty of room to grow and uh, also as well, if you guys enjoy new cryptos, we are checking out a ton on the channel. And I also want to shout out this crypto right here. So I have uh, invested into this and it is definitely a good one to know, uh, have on the radar early. It could be a very big 
uh, gaming project, but it is getting listed on Bybit super soon. So this one, May 21st, 8 a.m. UTC time. What is this one? Nine, it is a very uh, good quality game. It reminds you a little bit of Overwatch. So if you're someone who enjoys learning about new cryptos, you wanna keep your eyes peeled for the next 100X gem, make sure to subscribe to this channel. You can go off and do some research into Nine Heroes, but that is when it's listing. That is where it's listing as well. So I think it might only be on Bybit, but you can double check that when you're doing your research on it right there. But it's getting listed super soon. And uh, if this crypto market continues to stay bullish, guys, I reckon there'll be heaps of very exciting crypto projects to watch out for. And the best thing you can be doing in crypto, it doesn't mean you have to buy a crypto if it's early, but it's just knowing about it, having that awareness, that intelligence in the crypto market about very early cryptos, it's going to put you ahead of the pack. So it's almost like a CIA, uh, you know, special intelligence services, what you have to do in crypto. So it's just about knowing about cryptos. On this channel, you guys remember, we checked out Pepe when it was around $30 million in market cap. And now, it's more than 100 and what is that 125 x now so again we just knew we just saw it trend we covered it and uh it's done 120 x or whatever it is now uh since then so it's just learning about cryptos early you can put you way ahead of the rest of the crypto market but guys that's a very exciting uh, update as always when you are checking out meme coins be it pepe shib doge understand high reward high risk so make sure to understand that it is a volatile market you know best case scenario you can get like a thousand x gains worst case scenario cryptos can also go to zero so factor that in when you're looking at cryptos and if you're not okay with those risk parameters i say just sit out the crypto market but you can still watch the videos if you want i tried to make them as entertaining as possible and with that guys really appreciate you guys sticking around to the end of this video i hope you go off and make lots of money and i'll see you guys in the next one crypto zeus signing out